Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Wharton's, the rustiest place on Earth for the looks of things. Who was I supposed to give that scan to? I think Dr. Uh, Dr. Bernstein? Oh, that's right. Yes, 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 I remember now. But, uh, right now we're here. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a mess. Now he's really disappeared. Yeah, that looks safe. I don't see any OSHA violations here with these giant spinning cogs of death. Strange that. Have I, have I mentioned the co op partner thing yet? I honestly can't remember. Yeah, this game does have uh, co-op, actually. It's, uh... Hey, the vest! And I've got two of them for some reason. Uh, torn TGIW vest. A torn piece of cloth from a Wharton's employee vest. There appears to be something sewn onto the cloth. Uh... I hit use and... Oh! Well, then in that case, let's see if I can get another one. Uh, no, screw it. It'll be faster if I just go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Use. And there's my sixth piece of flare. Excellent! I do, however, still need a real one. A real vest, I mean, not a real piece of flare. But yeah, uh... Asymmetrical co-op, player one controls death spank, and uh, has all the usual features. Whereas, that is not a health potion. What is that doing there? Hmm, that's right, I think I used all that shit up. Okay, maybe I should backtrack. Um... Mm. Okay, yeah, going in without any potions at all seems reckless, even for me. I'm wondering if this is one of the things I explained in the POW area early on. I can't actually throw myself into the gears. Coming up the gear works, that's me. Piss off. No. Hey, money. I still find it funny that the robots are immune to lasers. Crazy, crazy husband outhouse. Okay. Uh, first of all, I know we need to give something to Lucy, so let's just go right here. There's a robot fucking off.
Hello, Lucy Eisenbein. Greetings, Lucy Eisenbein. I have scanned a Mark Seven robot and present you with a mighty printout. Wunderbar. Now I can program the control crystal in no time. There, Excellent. There, go to ten, and then this. Ha, the programming is complete. The Tricor 7 can only be damaged by the power surge of a Mark 6 robot being destroyed. How wonderfully contrived. Indeed. Take this control crystal and drop it on the ground near the Tricor 7. It will channel a destroyed Mark 6's overload surge towards the Tricor 7. Well, I don't think I'll be instantly vaporized if I go up close to that machine anymore. So, uh, maybe I'll do that. First, we're here to see Carl. Hello, Carl. Greetings, potion person. I'm looking to buy some potions. No, just leave it. It will be fine. Is the other one? Not that button. I will get it someday. <laughs> someday. Yeah, that's right. This guy. Uh, the oasis in the sandy desert. Yeah, because he thought I, he just assumed I would die. You see, if you didn't get that joke, the guy who wanted me to go away, giving me a quest to go fight the most dangerous monster in the world, supposedly. Um. <clears throat> hey, buddy, here's that thing you wanted. Can I look at that in the inventory? Yes, I did. It smells worse on the inside. Mark Six Control Crystal. The information on this crystal would fill two thirds of your phone book. Greetings again, Hermit. Here is the hideous stinker head you wanted. What? I can't believe you didn't die. Yes, I knew you'd be pleased. Uh, then I'll send you on an even more impossible quest. Uh, go to the jungle and uh, uh, look for something precious. Uh, uh, like an idol, or, or something that'll be well guarded. Gentle Hermit, looking for well guarded idols is my middle name. I thought Justice is your middle Just name. Just go away! What the fuck? Oh, okay. Well, I can't have you interrupting the teleport, so uh, off you go then. Oh yeah, and maybe it would help if I actually equipped those. Just a thought. Wait a minute, why do I still have the scanner? Suspicious. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were one of the ones who were going to turn into a bomb, like that. Ow. You guys mark sixes? Yes, you are! Pardon me for a moment. Uh huh. And use. It is doing damage to it. Just not very much. Healer bot. Over here. Man! Oh, wait, turn this to quick. Whatever. Pardon me a moment. Almost there. Death! 
Ah, <sighs> satisfying. Fire Axe 3, Fire's Revenge. And the General Sword. Attention! The sword generally does a lot of damage. That is correct. That is a very large number. Suspicious Murder Necklace. This necklace has the power to kill! A burning blade formed from flammable metals. Oh, hell yeah. Um... That isn't great. Huh. Well, I guess I've got that, at least. Nope, I'm not listening. I'm running away. Too far. I really used three whole potions in that fight. This is kind of, you know, constantly being bombarded by lasers. It didn't make it easy to heal with food. Talking to you. I should get. Sorry, I was distracted thinking to myself. Well, on the off chance that I uh, haven't uh, given the spiel yet. Make sure you do this. There are many. Death Bank has many friends. Plugging in a second controller will allow another adventurer to join the game and defend justice. Presenting the incredible Steve. Steve is the sort of guy you want to have around at all this. possible times. Steve can catch fleeing enemies, rain shuriken in all directions, and even use his faithful unicorn to create a healing rainbow. That is silly, but I approve. Sparkles the wizard is an old friend that can drop in to help me dish out justice. He can inflict pain on our enemies with fire, or even heal me when I'm in battle. All around, a swell guy. Yeah, so Death Spank uh, let you play as Sparkles the Wizard. This one uh, kept Sparkles and added Steve the Ninja. And I looked it up once. Uh, apparently, the Baconing adds a third, uh, you know, co-op companion. Who is, uh, how do I describe this? Oh, she's Foxy Cleopatra from Austin Powers 3. You know, the sort of archetype of the black 70s action woman. Archetype. Not a word I use very often in uh, a Let's Play. Oh dear, I'm full of things. Uh... You know what? Let's just, uh, Start using some of this. Which one did I just equip? Help from heaven, you say. Okay. Oh, oh, I said to those things, me, and the stupid arrows. God damn it. I was just perplexed at those. The powerful magic of this aura protects me and stains my clothes. I like that. And I don't know why. Oh, there's the, uh, the thing I just equipped in my hand. That's what Heck from Heaven looks like. A crossbow with burning arrows on it. A triple crossbow, even. Yolo Fitzo, one would approve. to me that it's still doing the cowboy music. Okay. Oh, this is... Mm. That's what that was. I thought that was a dead end right there. And it's like, oh no, that's just a line on the floor, not the top of a wall. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
that robot got real, real confused. I'm sure that ominous pile of large red sludge is uh, nothing to worry about. Guys, okay? Oh, hey, look at that. Silence. Ah, good. Is the green sludge because it's like a Soylent Green reference? This door is in front of the wall, which is weird, but I'll go with it. And this all looks uh, to be right uh, on the level. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. It's not my fault I've only found tiny groups of enemies in here. In a chest. Fine, let's do the drug test. Ow. Yes, yes, I know, but there's no sink in here, so, you know. Let's just pretend we're still in the medieval fantasy setting. I've done that. Still don't have a regular vest. Do I really have seven of those fucking things lying around? Getting Wharton's Song of Cuisine involves me passing a drug test to become an employee. This sounds easy, because kids, heroes, don't do drugs. The drug testing machine is inside the TGIW factory. I find a TGIW vest that would also involve killing stuff. Hmm. You know what? Let's, uh. Okay, I got that. Find a TGIW vest which is not torn in the cork board in the break room. Oh, hey, a thing. Death to you as well. And the bathroom keys are hanging on the hooks to the left of the main entrance. Though, where you're going, you won't even need a bathroom. Now, for the final part of your orientation, just come over here with me and I'll give you a lesson in meat pounding. <laughs> oh. I'm sure he'll be fine. I took a wrong turn. This is a very bassy area. No. Buddy, I don't need to be able to see you to swing a giant hammer around. Oh, hey, you guys are still alive. Nice. 
Changing targets is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. Huh. I wasn't actually sure I could reach this part of the map from where I was the first time. <laughs> Hang in there, baby. Very nice! Oops. Flyers. Can I get this Rubik's Cube? No. Wait a minute. I missed somehow the heart is as extra death of one of these idiots. Interesting. Okay, okay, it's over. Oh no, it was the other way. God damn it. Uh let's see. Flyers, personals, uh Wanted experienced stripper. Must be good at hands. Sanding and varnishing skills also important. I see what you did there. Piano repair repair flyer. Tired of being a small pianist? Enlarge your organ today! I don't know what I was expecting. Missing vest flyer. Whoever forgot their DGI Wharton's vest yesterday, I have pinned it to the corkboard. All of the buttons seem to have fallen off. Concert Flyer. Joseph Campbell and the Monomyths, live at the Beau Kukel's uh, Opera, Novuary no 30th. Buy your tickets now. And a blank piece of paper. This space intentionally left blank. Jesus Christ, there's a callback for you. TGIW vest. I still need to attach six pieces of flair to this vest before I can use it. Uh, okay. I was not expecting it to disappear. Why do I still have this? Official TGI Wharton's drug test? Passed. Wait. Oh, there it is! Thing on my last inventory space. So full of flair it can be seen from the moon! I like how terrible it is. Way too valuable to grind into cash. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank Thongs of Virtue. Just as soon as my break is over. <laughs> Later.